All the hits, 97 ZOK, 739, it's 71. And after a year and a half together in the same room, we we'll pretty much have zero secrets. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> we finally decided it might be a good idea to go on a date. Well, at least, not figuratively speaking, but at least to help you decide how it would go, we decided to throw ourselves into the mix and see how it would go on a first date between you and I. Yeah. Uh, Mandy found a great list you should keep handy. Relationships ex experts put this together. Five good questions to ask on your date. This first one uh, is a simple question, but remember the couple that binges together has more time to get cozy. So, so what's your I, favorite TV show? Uh, I would say right now it's The Blacklist. I haven't seen it, but I, could, I would love to watch it. Mine is Game of Thrones. I have never seen that either. Oh my God. You have to see it. We can't, I, I can't be friends with you if you don't watch it. Something else we can binge together on as opposed to food, because I know you and I could both <laughs> kill some food, you know? We can binge on both food and those television shows together. What uh, movies have you liked lately? Finding Dory. It made me cry. I took my 18-year-old son to see it, and I was so touched. I don't think he saw me cry, though. What about you? My inner voice right now tells me that I just might have seen a red flag. What do you mean? <laughs> You went to an animated movie with your teenage son and you cried. Yeah. Yeah, I did. It was his idea to go to the movie, if that means anything. And that, and I wanted to do anything to make him happy. The insight there might be the tears were really more about her son leaving for college. Yeah, it was. Uh, Jungle Book. And uh, the new Independence Day movie is stupid but entertaining. Was it the live action Jungle Book or was it the animated Jungle Book? The one that just came out. I think that's live action. Yes. How was that? It was fantastic. Those are great movies. Daughter and I loved it. So, where have you traveled? I haven't really traveled a whole lot. I've been to Mexico. That's about the furthest I've been from the continental United States. I went home recently to Minneapolis. That was fun. I've kind of been to Washington, New York, Florida, Arizona. You know, the huge. The, the, those are the usuals? <laughs> that's, where, that's typically where like my friends and family are. I'm not a jet setter. Hmm. What about you? Uh, San Francisco is my favorite city Why? in America. You know, there's a lot of rich music history. There's, uh, there's a lot of history in terms of, uh, you know, how our country dealt with the, the Vietnam War and different protests, and there's great food, and there's just something about that song from Journey, one of my favorite bands. And you really just have to one time in your life experience standing by the Golden Gate Bridge with lights by Journey playing. There's just something really captivating about it. And then the city that's on the other side of the bridge, Sausalito, there was one place I could live that would love to live there. I'm making a mental note. You like to eat rice aroni. You said food in San Francisco. Uh, more Giardelli <laughs> chocolate, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I like rice, you know, as much as the next guy. So how did your parents meet? Again, these are the five questions you should think about asking on a first date. I think they met at a bowling alley, but to be honest, I really have no idea how my parents met. I think um, my father was in the Air Force, and he was stationed at Truex Field in Madison, uh -huh. Wisconsin. Um, and I believe my mom and dad met at an event there, but it might have also been at a bar. I really don't know what the truth is. <laughs> I feel like I, I, nobody's parents ever really uh, tell us the truth about how they really met. So I know that my dad was really in the Air Force and was stationed at Truex Field, and I know that my grandmother, my mother's mother, used to coordinate events on the base, and I think she might have brought my mother, her daughter, to an event, and that's how they met. But I think that's the romantic novel version. Yeah. I honestly think they met at a bar. I think we've all gotten that romantic novel version, but really, the old-fashioned way is to meet somebody while you've been drinking in a bar. Now, this is the question I've been most looking forward to asking all night. Oh, I'm sorry, it's <laughs> not All morning? Night, but this is this first date we're on here. <laughs> uh, who would play you in the movie of your life? Kristen Bell. Oh. Here's why. Have you ever seen the commercials with her and her husband, Dak Shepard? They're like the Samsung commercials. Yes. Like, she's just so cute and quirky and she's fun. She's who I want to be. Plus, the relationship is like hashtag lifetime or life goals for me. Right on. I would like to think I could have a combination looks and talent so that somebody, if you could smush together The Rock and Denzel Washington. Yes! But I don't think that's going to happen. I think the person's probably best suited to play uh, me in a movie about my life would be Hootie. Not Kevin Hart? No, not Kevin Hart. <laughs> I've got about four feet on Kevin Hart.
I think Darius Rucker is probably best suited to play me in a movie. Well, people do think at times that you are Darius Rucker. You look a lot like him. I remember there was a time that people thought that you were like his brother or his cousin, yeah, or brother. that you were actually yeah. Booty. Yeah, that's that's none of those are true, by the way. <laughs> so pack these questions along with you at your next first date. It will tell you a whole lot of things about the person you're with and, of course, determine if there should be a second date. Not to mention, did you notice that the conversation just keeps going? There was no, um, uh, this is weird. So this is going to work. Try it. Are we going to have a second? Sure. Can are, we there, are there going to be tacos and tequila? Yes. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I know now how the second date's going to end. <laughs> yeah, me calling into work the next day.